Hebrews 12, verse 1. I'll have examples of what I'm preaching today. I just wanted to see. It says, Hebrews 12, verse 1. Okay, you can read in your Bible. Therefore, we also, since we are surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses, let us lay aside every weight and the sin which so easily ensnares us, and let us run with endurance the race that is set before us, looking unto Jesus, the author and the finisher of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross, despising the shame, and has sat down at the right hand of the throne of God. We need to know that our God is also looking at us. But not only God. We have got many people around us. As a witness. It's like a crowd of witnesses around us. So because of that, we must lay every weight aside. And the Bible talks about also sin, weight and sin. That it will entangle us, I will trap us. But we run with endurance. The Let me show you what I'm reading here. If you go to heaven, Doors of heaven are always open. Where God is, doors of heaven are always open. Even when they are open, when you want to enter, you'll be entered because you are worthy to enter. Now, let me take these two ladies, to my brother and lady come. Okay, come. This lady, come. Another lady here. Stand here. My brother, run there. These are doors of heaven to enter. This one is a pole. This one is a pole. The door is open here. You are a Christian. There. So the Bible says, you Christian, your example here is this man. For him to enter there was not easy. He suffered, but he was looking at the Father there. Can you see the Father there? Can you see that light? That light there. When the devil wanted to offer him things, offer him the kingdom, he was just looking at the Father. So this one, from the beginning, is our Lord Jesus Christ, and is our example. So now, you as a Christian, come brother, come, run to that man there. So this man, can you Look at that man. So look what he's going to do, this man. Brother, come looking at that window and enter there. At at that, that light there. there. You watch him. You watch him. Can you see this man is looking there until you enter here? So the Bible says. You also, as a Christian, you must do the same. But know this. If you want to do the same, the Bible says, lay all this aside. Just come, come again, come. Come. Lay this girlfriend of yours aside. Girlfriend, how we Stand with the girlfriend. Can you just come here? 
This is a drunkard. These are friends you were drinking with them. Can you just come here? This, this one, you lie with, the, with them. You lie with him. Come, sister. This is another girlfriend you are trying to propose when you have this one. You are proposing this one when you have this one. And you have this one also is not allowed. These are a weight against you. What will happen is to enter there can be difficult. So all of you can you hold where you want to hold him? Hold him somewhere. Hold him tight. Brother, the doors are open there. Let's, let's see if we can do it. Huh? I can't move. Can you see it's yourself? That will send yourself to hell. So now, the Bible says, Bible re, you lay every weight and sin aside wa si bi that always trap you. Jedi dulang dire swara. Trap you up. Dire swara. So that you'll be able to do what that one did. Try, push with all your power. Allow him, bit. Allow him to move a little bit. Allow him to move. Carry on, move him. Move. Brother, it is possible that your life can end here. And you won't reach there. I'm sure you understand what I'm saying. God bless you. God bless you. I want us...